practice problems, guided problem solving, part one, one trait crosses. And here it says, in humans, the allele for albinism is recessive to the allele for normal skin pigmentation. Two heterozygoses reproduce. So, two heterozygoses, that means albinism is recessive, so capital A will be the dominant normal skin color pigmentation, and A, lowercase, will be who cannot produce normal pigments as recessive, the allele for that. The first parent, because two of them heterozygous, let's write it down, this is capital A, lowercase a, because they are heterozygous. The possible gametes produced by the first parent, so either the gamete will have a capital A or a lowercase a. These are the two types. Of, the genotype of second parent is the same because they are heterozygous, capital A, lowercase a, and the possible, genot uh, possible uh, gametes, capital A or lowercase a. Now, the cross is going to be written out like capital A lowercase a times capital A lowercase a. And this is the time when we will just do the Punnett square. The first parent, uh, the gametes, possible gametes of the first parent and the possible gametes for the other parent and we will just do the cross pull down this uh, ladder with that pull down this possibility this gamete will form a zygote with that gamete Capital A comes down here and lowercase over there. The order is uh, the order of the letters doesn't matter, but we usually start with a capital letter, writing it out. So the genotypic ratio of their offsprings is usually we start with homozygous dominant and this is one two two heterozygous and one homozygous recessive so one to two to one the phenotypic ratio is now the phenotypes these are all uh, no, uh, offspring with normal uh, skin pigmentation and it's going to be oops oh come on three normal pigmentation with one albino pigmentation uh, or no pigmentation chances when we are asked for the chances this is usually expressed in percent the chance of their first child will have normal skin pigmentation so three out of four so 75 percent chance that their first child will have albinism so one out of four that is going to be 25 percent and if their first child has normal skin pigment what is the chance that they are a carrier of the albino allele? So, if their first child has normal skin, so normal skin pigmentation, but they have to be carriers. So it's two third uh, is the chance, or sixty six percent. And this is, uh, should have been for the Punnett square, but we are good. Number two for that uh, 
segment is particular species of more red a brown uh, allele is dominant to the blue allele so the brown is capital B because it's dominant and the lower case will be for blue heterozygous more reds one heterozygous so capital B lowercase b with another who has blue eyes blue eyes can be only happening when two lowercase b's are present in the organism the first parent's genotype is capital B lowercase b genotype of the second parent lowercase b lowercase b that's why it's a blue eye we cross them capital B with lowercase b and this genotype ratio how about we just add the Punnett square for here for the cross the gametes for the first parent should be capital B or lowercase b for the uh, gamete uh, layout for the second parent will be lowercase b and lowercase b you pull it uh, down and across And you fill out the Punnett square and what you will find is genotypic ratio uh, of their offsprings the dominant I mean uh, the heterozygous will be one two to two but it uh, we will simplify to one to one phenotypic ratio will be phenotype either it's a brown eye or blue eye one to one two to two oops no two to two but we have to simplify so it's going to be one to one chance in percent that their first offspring will have brown eyes it's 50 percent chance uh, that their first uh, offspring will have blue eyes uh, it's also 50% either this or that yes. uh, and also here is a question chance that if their first two offsprings have brown eyes so chance first offspring has brown eyes is half of the chance because they are independent from each other so we are going to time it for the second offspring to have a brown eye it's also half of the chance or 50 percent and the third will have blue eyes independent uh, from the two other events it's going to be half of the chance and if we time all together it's one over two times two is four times two is eight so this is really the answer this is one one eighth we have anything else okay we will do number three together and in a cells the uh, gene for the length of the whiskers has two alleles the dominant is the long whisker let's do the long whisker capital L and uh, the recessive is lowercase l two long whiskers uh, seals only one of them is homozygous dominant mate so the first parent is capital l capital l the genotype of the second is going to be still showing the dominant uh, phenotype so it's going to be uh, heterozygous the cross is capital l capital l times capital L lowercase l genotypic ratio of their offsprings let's conduct the fast Punnett square first parents uh, gametes capital L capital L second parents gametes can be capital L lowercase l So what we can see is the genotypic uh, ratio of their uh, offsprings or either capital uh, homozygous uh, dominant or heterozygous dominant uh, heterozygous so it's one to one 
the phenotypic ratio, it's 100%, or we can say all, with whisker, with long whiskers. Chances that the first uh, offspring will have long whiskers, this is really 100%. And chances their their uh, first offspring will have uh, short whiskers. This is going to be zero percent because all of them are going to be either homozygous dominant or heterozygous. So no homozygous recessive offspring will uh, happen. And that's the end of the part one.